What's going on guys, Big Time on 10 here. Today, we're gonna be installing Evolution X11 for the OnePlus 7 Pro. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if this video helped you. And let's go ahead and go to the XDA forum thread. I'll have the link on the description. And as you can know, single tap gestures doesn't work. And also WFD, which I believe is Wi-Fi Direct, does not. And no Verizon network support, guys. So if you have a Verizon network, you're not gonna be able to install this ROM. So here is the installation instructions. As per the instructions, we need to make sure we have Oxygen OS 10 flash on both slots. So make sure you take care of that before we start the process. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, download the zip file, reboot to recovery, and wipe data, cache, and system, form a data, flash the ROM, reboot the system, and option if you wanna do the, you know, flash the matches, you can. So let's go ahead and start with the download. So click on download, it'll take you to this website. Make sure you get the latest, which is January 2nd, 2021. Once you click on it, you should wait those five seconds and you should see a pop-up come up and just choose where you want to download that file and remember where it's going so that you know where to locate it when you need it. All right, so now we're gonna go into the about phone. We're gonna click on the build number and get that developer option going. And we go to system. You can see here, we're gonna go to developer options and we're gonna make sure to have advanced reboot also usb debugging and just make sure you also have your bootloader unlocked so let's go ahead and uh reboot to our recovery just hold the power button and there you go just reboot to recovery and let's go ahead and go into twrp just keep in mind that i'm going to shorten the sequence uh, the whole installation shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes that's what it took me so all right let's continue with Okay, once you swipe to allow modification, we're gonna go ahead and go to wipe. That's it. So here we're gonna go to advanced wipe. Go ahead and click on that. And per the instructions, we're gonna go ahead and go to choose data. We're gonna go ahead and choose system and the cache, which is a David Art cache. So once you do that, go ahead and swipe. Boom. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and let that finish. Okay, press back. We're gonna press back again and we're gonna do a format data, type yes, enter, and it should be formatting data. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna go back, back, all the way to the main screen. Here, I'm gonna get my USB stick where I have my files and I'm simply gonna go to install, select USB storage, and I'm gonna look for two files. Number one is gonna be the Evolution X, which is right there. Click on that file. We're gonna add more SIPs and we're gonna go ahead and get a recovery because we don't want that removed. So we're gonna go ahead and flash and we're gonna wait for TWP to do its thing and we're gonna come back in a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna press reboot. We're gonna go to uh, system. And don't worry if you see that warning message there. So just go ahead and swipe and we're gonna reboot. Now we're gonna wait a little bit. Just so you know, like I said before, it's gonna be at least eight minutes, 10 minutes for it to complete the boot. And after that, you should be good. So that's everything guys, that's it. That's everything you need to do to install the new Evolution X, Android 11 and Go ahead and give it a try. I'm gonna give it a try this week and we'll see how it goes. So here it is. As you can see, it's booting up. It has all that nice pixel animation and I'm sure it's gonna have the special evolution setting. So can't wait to try it guys. So I'll have a video on it soon. So thank you guys. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a like and uh, don't forget to subscribe guys. And uh, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.